Rapunzel, Episode 7, In the Library. Rapunzel stepped slowly into the library. Prickle darted under a bookshelf. Rapunzel tiptoed across the room. Come out, Prickle. She whispered. Right now, or we'll be in big trouble. Rapunzel looked at the bookshelves. There were so many magic books. I'll look at just one, Rapunzel thought. She opened a small book of potions. Here's the king's hair potion. I mix this potion often. The book had magic words in it, too. Harvax? Rapunzel whispered. That's Igvax. She turned a page and gasped. <gasps> a changing potion, she thought. I could turn Prickle back into a bird. Rapunzel! The witch yelled again. Did you find that horrible hedgehog? Rapunzel stuffed the book into her pocket. Then she scooped up Prickle. She slipped him into another pocket. Here I am! Rapunzel rushed into the hallway. The witch stomped out of the kitchen. Where were you? The witch asked. I found the hedgehog. Rapunzel said quickly. I put it back outside. <sighs> Good. The witch nodded. We must make potions now. I need some to sell at the market today. And the king needs more hair potion. For the rest of the morning, Rapunzel mixed potions. The witch whispered lots of magic words. Rapunzel listened hard, but she couldn't hear the words. In her pocket, Prickle wiggled. Rapunzel tapped him gently. Be still, Prickle, she thought. Rapunzel! The witch frowned. What's in your pocket? Rapunzel jumped. Her arm bumped the bottles of hair potion. The bottles tipped, and then... Splash! Potion spilled all over the table and floor. It splattered Rapunzel's face and clothing. Rapunzel! The witch cried. Clean up this mess at once! You spilled hair potion everywhere! Rapunzel, Episode 8, A Long Braid I'm sorry, Rapunzel said. The witch was furious. You are so careless! Now we must start all over again! We'll be late for the market! Rapunzel began to clean up the mess. She wiped up the potion on the table. She mopped up the puddles on the floor. Ugh! She said. I'm a mess, too. Potion dripped from her clothes. It dripped from her braid. Rapunzel cleaned herself up. <sighs> then she mixed more hair potion. Leave that here! The witch snapped. 
The king's servant will come for it later. Put the other potions in my basket. Hurry! We have to go to the market now! Soon they left for the market. They walked slowly along the road. Suddenly, the witch stopped. She stared at Rapunzel. Oh no! Rapunzel thought. Prickle was moving in her pocket. Could the witch see him and the magic book? What did you do to your hair? The witch snapped. My hair? Rapunzel said. Nothing. Why? Rapunzel touched her braid. It was still wet. Hmm, she thought. It also felt longer. Rapunzel looked down and gasped. Her hair was growing to her knees. You silly goose! The witch cried. You spilled hair potion on your hair! Rapunzel's hair kept growing. Soon, her braid touched the ground. My hair is so long. Ugh! Rapunzel moaned. Can you cut it? The witch shook her head. I didn't bring scissors. You'll have to wait. At the market, Rapunzel set out the potions for sale. A boy came over. What happened to your hair? He asked. Rapunzel looked down, about to cry. Her head felt so heavy. And when she looked up again, everyone was staring at her. Rapunzel, Episode 9, The Market I'm sorry, the boy said quickly. I didn't mean to upset you. Your hair is really pretty. Rapunzel looked at the boy. He had a nice smile. He was very friendly. She tried to smile back. Thank you. The witch stomped over to them. Go away, boy! We're busy! Rapunzel blushed. The witch was so rude sometimes. Just then, a woman hurried over. Do you have a beauty potion? She asked. Of course. The witch said. She began showing potions to the woman. The boy stepped closer to Rapunzel. He grinned. I wish I worked for a witch. You must learn so much magic. I love learning new things. So do I, Rapunzel said. Then she sighed. But I don't learn much magic. And living with a mean witch is lonely. Just then, several farmers walked by. Rapunzel blinked in surprise. My parents are with them, she thought. What's the matter? The boy asked. I'll be right back, Rapunzel whispered. Can you keep the witch busy? The boy glanced at the witch. I'll try. Rapunzel hurried off. She slipped through the market. Then... Oof! She tripped over her braid. Rapunzel got up and dusted off her hands. She stared at her parents. She had not seen them for years. Will they still know me? She thought. Mama and Papa moved away through the crowd. 
Rapunzel started after them again. This is my chance, she thought. Finally, I can talk to them. Stop! A voice growled. A hand gripped her arm. Rapunzel spun around. It was the witch. The witch stared at the farmers. Her face turned dark. Her nails dug into Rapunzel's arm. You are running away from me! 